All right. I think this is working. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, let's see. Does this work if I minimize? It does not. Let's see. I'll just share my screen. So our first, first few sessions, we're probably going to have some uh, figure out tech issues. Can you guys see my screen syllabus? Is that what it shows? Yes? Oh. Uh, yes, we can. All right, awesome. We can see yes, cool. All right, for some reason, Discord doesn't give me an overlay, so <laughs> I can't see if people are nodding. Maybe I'm looking at over here. Um, yeah, so today, I mean, it's just going to be fairly, fairly relaxed today. Um, literally just going to go over the syllabus and just see if anyone has like questions, concerns, thoughts, or like if as we go through the lectures, if like people have certain things they want to add to what they want to learn, um, et cetera, stuff like that. Um, and we'll also go through kind of some of the, the tech stack we're using as well, um, just for helpful reference. Cause we are, this is like a big experiment and we're basically trying to see like how many web three tools can we put in here to like help, enhance either the data we get from the course like the student experience all that all that good stuff right um so the first section is going to be pretty straightforward um right now we're doing lectures every tuesday thursday for this week it's going to be 11 a.m to 12 p.m est um we will do more like asia australia friendly times for the following weeks um just so people aren't awake at 2 3 a.m um yeah so again, attendance is expected just because it'll be helpful for all of you to kind of ask questions as we go. And that'll also be good for us to kind of be like, all right, if if there's a lot of questions on a certain day or a certain section, um, maybe we need to spend more time on it instead of just jumping to the next lecture. Um, and then on off days where there aren't lectures, we'll do focus groups. Um, so you can kind of think of this of, as office hours. Um, and hopefully this will kind of be like one hour a day where we can all kind of focus on running through queries together um, and like we can all actively help you all. Um, obviously, we'll be around not during office hours as well, um, but that's kind of just like a, hey, let's set a let's set a set time um, so that we don't just forget to work on these things. Um, and on the first two weeks, we'll also have protocol presentations from our sponsors as well, um, given like a lot of the focus groups and lectures are going to be focused around the the protocol sponsors um so it'll be helpful to have presentations from them where they can kind of explain their app explain their users kind of talk about what they've looked at in the data what they haven't looked at in the data um so the first week or the, the first week's going to be pretty busy with with lectures um or not lectures both but just like presentations and groups in general um and all of this will be recorded and i'll probably either um for for the focus groups and other set presentations i might just upload it to youtube or share in the discord um, while we figure out glass protocol. Um, yeah. So if you haven't looked through the weekly themes and lectures already, um, probably good to just like scan through it and maybe Google some things for fun. Um, I think essentially the hardest part about this course, and this is something we've thought about a lot is like, how do you kind of teach web three and SQL at the same time, right? You're essentially teaching a domain and a, a like two, two separate skills at the same time, right? Um, so some some lectures are going to be more Web3 heavy. Some lectures are going to be more SQL heavy. Like I can say tomorrow's lecture is going to be like 80% Web3 data and like just explaining everything about transactions, clients, data, and like basic queries. And like some other future ones are, are, are definitely going to be like, especially when we get to like advanced joins, window functions on partitions, like that. that's probably going to be like a SQL heavy kind of lecture, All right? Um, but yeah, and I think we actually we, we thought about that a lot when admitting students as well. So some of you all have like strong SQL backgrounds. Some of you have stronger Web3 backgrounds. Um, so hopefully you guys can kind of like in focus groups, like help each other out with with strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, um, the teachers will all be around to kind of help as we can as well. Right. Um, so the teachers for all of these lectures are kind of listed here as well. Um, but if you have any questions about any of these lectures before we get to them, or maybe you're trying to move ahead um, and like try to do something for a future lecture, um, feel free to kind of like reach out as well. Uh, we might not have the lecture put together yet, but we can at least kind of help and give some directions if you're kind of moving ahead in the syllabus, right? 
Um, and small caveat, the fourth week of this course is during Thanksgiving in the U.S. Um, so we might do, I think like half of us are U.S. based, um, but we might do like a Monday, Wednesday lecture format for that week instead of um, like a Tuesday, Thursday. Um, and we'll also give an extra week for kind of completing the bounties um, just so people aren't working <laughs> over Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, that'd be that'd be a little mean of us. Um, are there any questions, concerns so far? No? Okay. I, th I, th I think I kind of know how my college professors feel now. <laughs> um, anyways, so student bounties. All right. So I think we raised a total of 3.4 ETH, which is like, what is that? That's like 15,000, 16,000, something like that. Um, so we decided to do scaling bounties um, over the next four weeks. All right. So essentially for the first week, 0 0.3 ETH of bounties will be split between all students. Um, and that's assuming all 30 students complete the task, then each student gets 1 30th of that 0 0.3 ETH essentially. Right. Um, and then that scales up each week up to 1.6 ETH by the fourth week um, as the difficulty of output kind of scales up. Right. Um, and if students don't complete the task, then other students just get like a larger share of that weekly pool, right? Um, for simplicity, like qualification of the bounty will just be based off of like the teacher's judgment of effort during during classes or during the week and also judged by the output on Sunday of each week, right? Um, and, and we'll obviously help with this as well, um, like because a lot of this is like showcasing and posting on Twitter uh, or, or on Mirror or whatever whatever medium you like to kind of post your content analysis on so we'll give feedback kind of like before and after it's posted as well um so that basically you can think of it as like every sunday you want to have your your homework basically done um and like ready to post right and then we'll qualify you for the bounties um so obviously we don't want to just leave it completely open-ended um so we have put together four protocols with like kind of overviews of the protocols as well as like anything that's already been done on Dune for them, like where their contracts sit. Um, and like we've asked them for key focus questions as well as like these are questions that they would like to see answered or like they would like to explore more. Right. So, for example, I've split these into like mini and sub questions. Um, so a good way to think about this is if you're looking at like index cube, um, don't start with the main question, just start with these like sub questions instead. Um, to help you get a better idea. And we'll kind of expand on these sub-questions over this week to kind of give more surface error for people to start on, right? So the idea is like the first week you just get familiar with these protocols. The second or third week you kind of commit to a protocol that you like working with um, and like you really dig into their sub-questions. And by the, th like the th by the third and fourth week, you should be um, trying to answer one of these like main questions. And if you think of your own main question, that's fine as well, right? But these are just here to kind of provide framework to like show how these protocol teams are thinking through um, some of their data problems. Um, and I've also listed these four in kind of order of my perceived difficulty, I would say, in terms of like how hard it is to understand the protocol and the contracts. Um, so you can kind of take that as you will. Um, if you want to start with like Genosoft, that's totally fine. Um, there's just more, I'd say that's like a, there's a lot of web three concepts you need to know in terms of token standards and like exchanges for that to make sense. Um, but yeah, and this is again, yeah, I think I said this already, but we're going to be expanding more on this page and this is linked in the discord as well. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions about this. Um, and we do have delegates mentoring from each of these protocols, um, in our discord as well. And we'll, we'll introduce them throughout the week. Um, are there any questions on the bounty system slash kind of like this protocol overview so far? No, we're good. All right. We're chilling. Nice. So this is going to be a breeze. Um, yeah. And I'll talk more about payouts later. Um, we're, we're going to be using something like something called a mirror split, which is essentially like you can set certain addresses and certain like percentage allocations to this contract and then anyone who sends eth to that contract then basically that eth gets split by those percentages by address um so you'll have this kind of 
portal you can claim your bounty from. Um, and I'll set that up at the end of the week. Um, but if you are curious, you can read about it in this link. Um, all right. Now, now for one of the more fun experiments. Um, I think typically it's like, how do you log, like, if students are understanding the material or like how are students interacting with each other or teachers? Um, I feel like in college or like in school in general, that's just done through surveys, right? Um, so we, we, we don't think surveys are boring, but like we think we can get more information than just <laughs> sending you a click one through five survey kind of format. Um, so we're gonna be using a tool called Coordinate instead. Um, and it kind of looks like this, where you have like all 30 students and all seven teachers will have a thousand give tokens. Um, as a note, these tokens are not on chain as of now, um, and they won't, they don't, they don't correspond to any like monetary value or anything, right? So this is purely kind of like an experiment. Um, and the idea there is like, if you have a thousand tokens, um, by Sunday, you should kind of like allocate those tokens based on like how much you understood the material and like who helped you out the most, right? So like maybe if like Co Kofi and I are the teachers for the week, you might give us like a hundred tokens, like, and like based on who's helped you through the focus groups or the discord, like you might give them more tokens, right? So it's like completely fine if you end up giving like another student more tokens than a teacher, right? That's like almost kind of what we're looking for, right? Um, and teachers will give out tokens as well. Um, and yeah, so this will just kind of give us a visual exploration and everyone will be able to see a mapping of like who's giving to who. Um, and I think that's just going to be really interesting overall to see how this like student social graph kind of evolves. Um, I would say just don't overthink this too much. Um, and like, we'll maybe I'll set some time on Sundays for us to like <laughs> do this together or something. Um, and I'll set reminders as well. Um, but yeah, I think something like this is really going to shape the future of like, of web through education in general. Um, any questions on this? Obviously I haven't shown you the interface or anything, but conceptually, does it make sense? <laughs> kind of? Yes. Makes sense. I think it's, I think it's super cool. Um, All right. In terms of something completely different. Yeah, we're, we're going to be playing with a lot of um, interesting experiments here. Um, but yeah, so that's a big one. Um, I obviously, success metrics, this is something we're thinking about as a lot as well. Um, these are kind of some of the success metrics that like we've kind of come up with. Um, obviously, we have some more, I, I think I, I call it student-specific metrics here as well. Uh, I'm sure those of you who, who looked at the tweet um, and like saw our decision tree, based on like decision tree, like where you are in the decision tree, we probably have different expectations as well, right? Like for example, if you're like not someone who works in Web3, but you're like extremely experienced in SQL, um, we would kind of be looking at like, all right, how much, how, how much did you learn about Web3 by the end of the course, right? That might be like a student specific metric. Um, so not that this really matters, but this is just like, if you're curious, this is what we're looking at. Um, and this last part here, this is just technical stack. Again, this is note keeping, but like this is everything that we're using kind of for this course. Um, this is just mo more notes for me for like when I do a write up of everything at the end of this to kind of help others launch their own courses and improve our own course. Um, but if you're curious, this is what we're using. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed. I think that's everything for now from a syllabus perspective. Um, anyone have any questions about the syllabus in general, classes, timelines, teachers? <laughs> I actually have a question about attending class. I'm worried there's going to be a couple lectures that I just simply can't make it to. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw that you guys are going to post them online, but you have a week delay. Right. Is so, that going to be for us as well, or are we going to be able to access them like the day that the lecture occurred? Yeah. So for for students, obviously, we're just going to update it, like upload it as soon as the lecture occurred. Um, so that 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 public facing is going to be a week delay because we have to figure out how to upload it on like Glass Protocol and figure out some token gating mechanisms. Um, but yeah, no, for students, it'll be uploaded like right after. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Cool.
Um, Boxer, I don't know if there's anything you want to add on your end. Not really. Um, what I could recommend all of you to do is like check out the uh, like websites. Try to like if you can ape around a little bit like with Index and Genius. Yeah, Swap is still uh, still a uh, white like still a whitelist, so you can't really use it. But um, try to try to read up a little bit on the on the on the projects. Or, like we're gonna have the introductions from the projects as well. But it's like um, try to learn as much as you can beforehand. Uh, it's really gonna help you probably. And um, yeah, really excited that you are here and uh, really looking forward to the next few weeks. Um, even the me, I can be like in the Discord as usual, uh, helping people out all the time. And um, yeah, feel free to reach out at any point. I uh, hope you're all registered on June now. Um, if like sometimes we have like sign up troubles, it's like one out of a thousand cases, like uh, shit happens. So um, please do sign up for June if you're not already signed up. So if there's like a one in a thousand case, we can still fix that um, until until you know. Like I don't know. It would be very good if you had a Dune account. Like it would be very useful. <laughs> and uh, so uh, yeah, do that. Um, try to read up on the protocols. You can try around with Dune, but uh, we're gonna do the best to teach you from zero to one hundred. So um, yeah, looking forward to lectures. Box, you sound like a you sound like a robot. <laughs> you might need a might need a new mic at some point. Um, yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> all, all good. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, echoing echoing that. Yeah, any anyone who just wants to start reading ahead about the protocols, that's probably the best place to start. Um, like tomorrow, I'll be giving a full full overview of like where the data comes from, like. Walk through the Dune interface and basic SQL. So af after tomorrow, then you'll really be set up to kind of start digging around. But if if you want to start a day ahead, uh, obviously go ahead. We're not gonna we're not gonna limit you. Um, so um, cool. All right, I think it's everything that I have. have. Um, we'll we'll open more voice channels later for anyone who just wants to like sit around and chat um or like if you ever want to ask questions you just at at one of us and then we'll pop into the voice channel as well um but yeah no super excited to have you all with us it's gonna be a fun <laughs> it's a it's gonna be a fun experiment we're all we're all gonna be learning alongside um everyone here so um yeah we're, we're just very excited about all this Cool. All right. Um, I guess that's it then. I'll I'll share the recording of this as well for for all students who aren't here. Um, but tomorrow we'll be getting started same time. Um, should be about an hour total. So that'll be fun. But uh, only thirty minutes of that will be me lecturing. The other thirty minutes will be working together. So cool. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Take care.